morning. So your presentation was very timely. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Our next speaker this evening um, is Mr. Ted Smith. <coughs> Welcome, sir. Thank you. Um, thank you very much for this opportunity to speak, uh, Mayor and Council. Uh, my name is Ted Smith. I reside at uh, 1246 uh, Gladstone Avenue. Um, it is with great pleasure that I'm here before you tonight, uh, before uh, I guess it's uh, a vote upon the report of the Governance and Priorities Committee regarding the licensing of cannabis dispensaries. Um, I've had a very long relationship with this council on this topic, and uh, I don't want to go back over that, but I uh, cannot express my thanks enough for taking this step. And it's a very important uh, step in that you're setting up a domino chain, really, towards the federal government to take action on this, because the federal government uh, has not taken a leadership role on this. It's been left to citizens like us to take this into our hands and provide these services despite the great risk of, of life and liberty to do so. And so uh, having taken that risk uh, to, to change what's happening at the federal government uh, and, and being supported at, uh, by you in, in that uh, is, is just phenomenal to, to see. And uh, I want to, I guess, just uh, assure you that the front page article of last week was, was incorrect in the Times columnist. They were supposed to print a retraction, but they really made me look like an idiot there on this matter. And uh, I regret that, but uh, there wasn't much that I could do. I certainly do not anticipate fighting the city council in this regulatory process in any sense, as they indicated there. Um, and so uh, I, I'm sure you, you knew that, but I thought to state it for the public record. Um, I guess uh, on a personal note, I, I didn't say this last time, but uh, as many of you know, my girlfriend, Gail, has been struggling with cancer. She was actually sent home to die six months ago. And uh, through the use of, of cannabis and, and other medicines, natural medicines, uh, she's getting better. I took her to the beach yesterday and she's off the narcotic entirely. She's getting off the, the steroid and uh, this herb and, and the medicine that our club provides really is saving her life and many other people's. And it's really surreal to have it come and hit me at home like this. But uh, I'm at home being supported by this club now instead of leading the charge. And many of you are getting to know Dieter who I've passed the club over to and speaking next. And, I can assure you that, that we couldn't have found a better man to pass this club over to. He's not nearly as radical as I am, and uh, otherwise is a very diligent, hard-working man, and, and I'm very proud to work with him, and uh, very proud to work with you. You're all exceptional humans. Thank you, and have a wonderful night. Thank you very much. Uh, the next speaker is indeed Dieter McPherson. Hello, Mayor and Council. My name is uh, Dieter McPherson. I believe this is the first time I've spoken to you like this. I live at 1246 Gladstone, go figure, in Fernwood. I'll keep my comments very brief. Um, I'm an advisor to the board of the Canadian Association of Medical Cannabis Dispensaries, as well as the executive director of the Victoria Cannabis Buyers Club. The Canadian Association of Medical Cannabis Dispensaries is a not-for-profit trade association for medical cannabis dispensaries founded in 2011. Our dispensary certification program is a rigorous accreditation process developed in part with the support of the UBCC project and funded also in part by the Peter Wall Solutions Initiative. I would like to thank you for giving the topic of marijuana related businesses such time and thoughtful discussion during the PGC meeting on May the 7th. I believe there are many valid concerns raised about community impact and patient needs and the difficult balance that needs to be struck. I believe at this point in time, you are not alone in attempting to find your role in managing the complex issues surrounding safe and fair access to medical cannabis. 
At this time, I respectfully request that Council consider allocating the resources required by the City staff to give this process the due and, due and care attention it deserves. Community stakeholders have a great deal of experience on this topic, but with Council's direction and additional resources, I expect that Victoria's leadership on the subject will have a great deal of impact across Canada. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our next speaker is uh, Mr. Bill Stewart. Welcome. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, thank you, Mayor and Council. Um, I just wanted to take the opportunity. Uh, I attended the meeting uh, last Thursday in the morning where you uh, had the debate over, uh, over whether or not to regulate, and I was, I was so struck by how, how well um, you understood the situation and how much compassion you had towards, towards uh, the, the dispensaries that are, that are uh, were, were run well and have been long established in the community, and in particular the patients and, and uh, dealing with the regulatory process in a way that would not impose a hardship on these patients. And as, a, as one of the members of, of, uh, of the BCBC, the, the, the uh, Ted and the now Dieters Club in particular, for about seven years now, the 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 degree of understanding of that of how that like how that it, any any uh, any impacts especially financially in that um, will will get passed down to the patients and that and how the, that can increase uh, our hardship because a lot of us unfortunately live on disability pensions which of course we're fortunate to have but are quite limited and there's no there's no sort of uh, medical coverage at all of course for any any medicine this way. Um, so I, you know, I just again, I want, I really wanted to thank you for for taking, you know, for standing up to the federal government and and being proactive on on this, because it really does mean a lot to the, to the, to the to the people to the people who are who are going to the dispensaries and benefiting from them, and as well, I think to the 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 impact that has on the, the larger community as well too, because I think that reduces somewhat. Uh, you know some of the, some of the overall health health costs in the community. Happy to reduce by that. But thank you. Thank you very much. Our next speaker is Parsua Shirzad, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Your Worship, Mayor Halps, and Honorable City Councilors, my name is Parsua Shirzad. I want to join the last presenter in thanking the council for your wise decision to move forward and ask, the city pro and ask that the city proceed by working with the existing dispensaries in developing appropriate licensing regulations. I'm a manager at Trees Medical Marijuana Dispensary, which has two locations in Victoria. <coughs> Trees has been serving the needs of the medical marijuana community from our location on Rock Bay since 2013 operating under a retail business license. Our business provides stable jobs that pay a living wage. We have 15 full-time employees and another six part-time staff. We collect and remit, remit HST, payroll taxes, and income tax. To date, we have paid over $200,000 to Canada Revenue Agency. <coughs> Our locations offer an adult-oriented aesthetic and are discreet in the community. There are, no, there are no neon signs, no public displays of our products. We offer information to our clients regarding the effective medicinal use of our products, and we offer information regarding potential hazards. Staff always ask to see appropriate membership ID and government-issued ID to ensure that our medicines are going to our clients only. Our establishments are professional, friendly, and safe locations. No minors are allowed inside, and we monitor purchasing practices by clients and the vicinity outside our stores to prevent trafficking, sharing, and resale to minors. I am personally very proud of how our company has built relations with our neighbors and sought to benefit the community. In April, we founded the Victoria Food Bank, utilizing our two locations to collect donations from our clients and neighbors. In our first month, we were able to raise over 10,000 cans of non-perishable foods, which we have donated to our community and to Rock Bay Landing Shelter. We have also reached out to groups in our community, such as Our Place, Reverend Al, and Rock Bay Landing, to see what we can do to assist with their community development work. We understand the issues around taxation of these businesses. 
The marijuana we sell is grown here on Vancouver Island. It's packaged here by people who live and work in Victoria. And we think it's only fair that we pay our share of federal, provincial, and municipal taxes and fees. We want to work with the city to develop a licensing regime that fits Victoria and serves the interests of all stakeholders here. We have insight and knowledge of the marijuana industry, including years of experience in this market. We would like to offer to the municipal authority our expertise as they begin drafting licensing regulations. As the city studies regulating this sector, we will be completely transparent about our numbers and practices. I hold in my hand a petition I wish to submit calling for City Council to actively work with operating medical marijuana dispensaries to develop regulations. In less than 10 days, we have collected over 500 signatures. We welcome further regulations and we support your licensing fee for storefronts. We want to work with the City on regulating and monitoring this sector. Thank you very much for your time and consideration. I look forward to seeing you again in the months ahead and working together to serve the people of Victoria. Thank you very much. And our final speaker this evening is Tristan Ryan.